September 2021. All right, guys, let's start out by showing them what we found in the ground. Our yeah. prize. Um, what did we find? A bobcat skull. Look at this bobcat skull. It, it even has, has like nice ears. teeth. It's got the ears, a jaw, and Teddy the, thinks this might be a part rat? of a rat. Yeah. So this maybe, is its leg, too. Maybe it ate like a poisonous rat or something um, and died. That was its cause of death. But um, this is a nice piece of coral that Brent found too. I thought that was kind of neat. We've never found stuff? anything that cool. Then we have, we've got some succulents. These look okay. They're not looking great. We have these awesome succulents. My mother-in-law just brought these awesome succulents. She has a, quite the collection of them. There's like a variegated jade here. A new kind of aloe that we don't have. That's aloe? I don't know what these other ones are called. There's so many different this kinds one, of succulents. This one, look at this little one. Little one right there. How cool. It's like a little fairy garden. And then, and then we just up potted this um, uh, pitcher plant. It's doing really good. I used some fabric to tie it up because it was kind of hanging falling over because it's gotten so big and we just found out you can eat these pitchers but um and stuff rice in them because i tried it and it wasn't that good for me so look it up before you try real quick i want to show you a plant all right show you show us a plant oh don't forget the succulents here oh yeah here's some more succulents here this succulent that's one we need to get in the ground. It's like a paddle plant. I paddle think. plant, yes. Real quick, uh, All right, hold on. We're gonna go this way first. So okay. here we have Love. our um, turmeric is growing okay. Don't forget um. We have heliconia. Um, heliconia. Uh, we have this is all of our African. Cuban oregano. Um, I did a. I oh, bought some plants that, from a lady with a plant sale the other day. Tomato in there. And I just planted one of my Everglades tomatoes in there. Um, we got this Chinese spinach from her. She said it's like a perennial spinach. So I popped it in. I, I lost a couple of them, but she gave me so many of them. And then my sisu spinach I recently thinned out and I planted some more in the ground to make a little patch because this is my favorite tasting spinach. And Can then here me? I have, um, sure. Um, Everglades my Everglades tomato. tomato that's um, we kind of turn this this thing turns mm. so um, in the winter we had it um, on the other side over here because it's sunnier but after all the heat right now that we're having we kind of pushed it back underneath the protection of these banana palms to kind of keep it alive and it definitely we cut we whacked it back a little bit and it's bounced back beautifully so um, and then this thing collects water at the bottom mm. and then we put worms in here and we give them um, our food scraps. So this is like a whole vermicomposting system here. Don't forget. This. Here's our dwarf Cavendish bananas. An it's aloe. A, a different kind of aloe and our other bananas here. Praying hands. Our praying hands are kind of reaching their end. I don't know if you can see them very well because I'm not tall. And but I got um a piece of spinach. You got a piece of spinach? Mm -hmm. Longevity spinach. Mm -hmm. And then right here we have our Mona Lisa bananas. My They're hair. getting bigger. And um here's probably one of our better looking um, pineapple plants and this is what made us decide that we need to be putting more pineapples around the base of our bananas because of all the organic material we put around them. We have a um, little volunteer um, sweet potato and that was from our garden last year. I haven't had too much luck with the sweet potatoes this year. Last year they did pretty good. Little vinca flower here. This one actually changes, changes from dark to light. Yeah, that one's really look, pretty. Look, these are both the same plant. Interesting. Which is kind of cool. And these flowers float on water. Yeah. And they last for like a couple days. My They're really pretty. My personal favorite thing is over here. Oh, you like this one? This we're one. We're trying to get all the different colors of vincas because we just think they're pretty happy little flowers. Yeah, please show them. We're going to stay over here and move our way. Um, so here is our fig. Um, I, um, Brent just tipped 
tipped the, the top off to promote more bushiness and growth. And it's looking happy. This, um, it wasn't doing good really until we got this pigeon pea in the ground next to it. And I just whacked this back and gave the manure, I get, put the, this is a green mulch, and I put it down around our bananas. And it's not looking great, honestly, bouncing back, but it seems to be a very tough plant. And it kind of gives the, the fig um, some sun protection. So, um, and this banana here um, is a uh, double Mahoe. So apparently this one gets two racks of bananas and once we just moved it from back there to here. Um, and it looks a lot happier here. So once we get these going, look, we already got a new little pup since we moved it. Whoa. Um, and this will also shade out the the fig and give it some more protection while it's growing into a bigger tree. Here's another pineapple. We just thinned out this space. Yeah, we just thinned all this out. We had um, some uh, white fly issues. Um, usually this time of year, uh, we get kind of that black uh, sooty stuff on the plants. So I just ripped out a bunch of stuff. And it's it's a lot less jungly looking than but it was. We also found. Yeah, and we found underneath all of our spider's plants wart. that we pulled out, spider's wart that we had a little pineapple hiding under there. So no spikes, which is weird. This right here is um, black uh, garlic chives, and right here we Sexy have plant. an elderberry. Elderberry, right. And a milkweed. I moved some of my Lagos um, spinach. This is a spinach that's um, real popular in Nigeria. And it does really well here and gets really pretty flowers. I'll show you what the full size plant looks like, but it just does really well and I wanted to have another patch of it somewhere. So I just um, cut these back and um, these all had little roots on them and I'm, I'm just trying to get them going in a different spot. And they look pretty good. Yeah. That's another Orinoco banana. We just uh, chop and dropped our last one that we got bananas off of, and then this one will probably get some bananas soon. Oh, look, zebra long, zebra long wings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to show you. Um, we have a croton. This is a really pretty croton. Um, um, our beauty berry beauty looks berry. really nice. Mm -hmm. They have really pretty flower, or uh, pretty berries on them, and the berries are just like magenta. Oh, they last forever if you cut them. Yes, they do. They're, they're a great uh, native plant oh, to don't grow. Forget these. And you can make and bug we, spray out of Yep, yeah, we make bug spray out of vermilions. distilling these leaves. Yep, these are the bromeliads that we had in the house, and we've kind of just moved them all around. And it's doing pretty good, and this is deep, deep shade. I popped, yeah, if you look uh, up there, I popped a, a beauty berry in uh, a part, and look. Oh, yeah. I think you can eat them, but don't I try. don't think they really taste like much. Don't try. Let's look it see. Up Our. Coonties are kind of at the end of the season. We got a few, looks like failed, uh, failed cocoons there. Let's walk over this way. I think we got everything over here. There's our pineapples. Now over here we have, this is a plant pirate's find of yep. pineapples. One of our free pineapples we just got. and. Here, most of our pineapples were just tops that we got from the grocery store anyway, so they're basically free. African gourd? This is an African gourd that I just planted some seeds. Um, I planted birdhouse gourd last year, and um, nothing was pollinating the flowers, so I had to hand pollinate it. My gourds I got were kind of small and weak compared to the ones that we used to grow in Georgia. They did much better there. Another vinca? That's a pretty vinca, isn't it? And then. Here's the African blue basil. I just stick cuttings. This was my main plant that I started with and I just cut cuttings off and stick it in the ground all over because bees just go crazy for it and it brings a lot of bees to the other. just like a little fuzzy other. fruit that you can eat. Yeah, that's a um, okra. It's doing well. It's not quite ready to eat. I actually ate one this morning. I should have left it. Um, here's another uh, guava. I think this is the Peruvian white guava. One of my favorite vincas. And yes, this one's my favorite. Here's another pretty little vinca. And here's a red penta. Not it's not doing great. But the one we'll that show we, you some. Yeah, that we have a nicer one in the back. Um, I think maybe they like a little bit more shade than what this one's getting. So maybe we should move it. 
Here are our Mysore bananas. This nice is, rock. they claim, is the tastiest banana. I think they are very good. Um, the tastiest, I don't know. I mean, the I've trash had, bananas. Yeah, the ones we got from the trash were delicious. Um, that we got on the curb the other week. Um, I would say those were probably better. And I think that was a dwarf Namwa or a Namwa banana. Hopefully, because we have both. And we have both. And I think that they taste the same, just one's taller than the other. Here is a ho uh, holy basil. Uh, I, I um, had a plant of this last year and it reseeded itself and popped up over here. And this is another um, holy basil. And then this right here is um, so the main African blue basil. Now come back here and we have a miracle fruit with buds on it. Yep, here's our miracle fruit. And this is a crazy looking fruit. Uh, I'm not crazy looking, it's a crazy fruit. You put it in your mouth and you swirl it around on your tongue and it changes the shape of your taste buds. So you can eat a lemon and it tastes like what? Lemon juice to like, adults, not just kids. No, you put lemon juice in your mouth, what does it taste like? Um, a lemon. Like candy. Like, yeah. Yeah, it cha changes sour to sweet. It's crazy. Um, here's our um, rosemary. It's about two years old. Just something I grabbed from the grocery store and popped in the ground. Here's a variegated um, Cuban oregano. This is a variegated shampoo ginger that we found on our plant pirates. A pretty little penta here. These are the original bromeliads we had. Um, these were the only ones we had in our yard. These and we kind of popped them around. Uh, this is a blackberry iris. Real these pretty. are real pretty. We've gotten a lot of these. Another beauty berry. And lots and lots of these Mysore bananas. I'm in a lake. So now, uh, let, let me show Here's you our pop. big puffy lemongrass. Our papaya is doing awesome. Our smell red lady papaya. Smell this lemongrass. Mmm. I don't think they can smell. I wish they could. Oh, here is our porter weed. I just recently ripped out some of the black um, sooty uh, buttercups, Cuban buttercups that were here, and a couple red salvias, and I thinned out my blanket flower so I can kind of get this porter weed to kind of creep up here because it's a nice low one. And what I had going here was a little too tall. Oh, vinca. Here's another vinca. One of my favorites. Another vinca. This is the um, canna lily that we just got um, on Plant Pirate, so it's not looking great yet, but it'll start pro um, producing. And here's that um, bromeliad. bromeliad we got from Plant Pirates long ago. This is a Grass. spider sport, I think. Mm. Our, um, our pink guava, we got about four guavas on this year and ate. They were delicious and smelled the house up amazing. But I think this needs, Brent makes a, uh, a treatment with a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of Dawn dish soap and sprays it. it. Yep, yeah, we did make a video on it and it worked. Um, but I think when we trim it, every time we tip the, the branches, it's opening it up for these mealy bugs to come back. So I think it needs another little treatment and it takes about a week or two to kill it all off. But I think it's about time to do that again. Cornhole. We got a corn palm, Dracaena. So here's that Lego spinach that I pulled from. And if you can see, here's the flowers. These are really pretty in bouquets. They last a really long time. Don't forget over here. And then I moved a lot of the sisu spinach to right here to kind of make a nice little patch of sisu spinach because we really like the way that one tastes. Here is our moringa, which we need to cut back. No. Um, and make it more of a bush and less of a tree. Did you guys get any of these? Did you show them these? No. It's the world's largest avocados. Yeah, look at those. Yep, these are, uh, we're not sure what variety of the avocado is. Um, we thought they were choquette. Yeah. But um, we're not yeah, completely I, sure. Because what I understand, choquettes hold their fruit until almost Christmas. Yeah, and ours are falling off the tree yeah. right now. But they are really good. They're really good to eat. Can I please climb up there? Sure. This is our katuk. We're kind of trying to cut this back, but I want to wait until we get, see here's the flowers, which are also edible. And, but these flowers will turn into these white berries that taste like peas. And I think it's probably my favorite part of the katuk. So I'm, I'm waiting for those. And I planted some of the little peas last year and got these little ones to, to pop up. 
And then um, when we cut this back um, a couple weeks ago, we actually cut it back to here and look at all that new growth. So it definitely likes to be trimmed. And um, every single branch that we stuck in water got roots out the bottom and, and we're planting that in more spots because this, this one's really delicious and it has a nutty flavor to it. Oh, Teddy, look at that. Um, Teddy planted this Cuban oregano over here a while back. It was that big. Yeah. As big as that. And uh, to surprise me, and uh, it's doing great. Here's our longevity spinach. The best spinach ever. Yeah, that's, that's another one of our favorite. I think we can get this to propagate from cuttings too, and we need to start spreading that. I would like to kind of fill in this whole area with the longevity. Um, we had some oak and almond spinach that I recently pulled to put out in our screen pool area to keep the things from eating it because everything was eating it over here. So um, here's our wedding bouquet plumeria. All right, so. Oh, don't forget this. Oh, our ever bearing mulberry. I found mulberries on it. Yep, there's mulberries on it. Brent's been tipping the tipping the branches to get it a little bushier and it forced some fruit out, which is nice. So we're kind of waiting for these to ripen. So mulberries in September, it's pretty good. So this area is very different since they cleared the lot um, next to us. Brent's been Brent planted, planted 46 of these areca palms. So he he worked really hard on all this. Yeah. He dug them all by hand and popped them all in by hand. So um, it looks really nice. And I think it kind of showcases our fence that we had here. I, I like this three board fence. It's kind of farmy looking and I like that. And then um, we ripped out all these free vermilions that we got and um, we, we took all the babies off of them and just put the babies in. So now this area is looking a lot less, you know, shabby because a lot of these bromeliads were looking kind of rough because we got them from the curb and now all the ones we have are, are more established in their spot. This is our new Hawaiian tea plant. It's a variegated leaf with a pink, a pink bottom here. We just got that this week. Um, here's some more vermilions. We kind of moved around. This was, I, have some, I don't remember the name, but it's a Dracaena. Oh, we think it's a cornhole. It's a Jane, no. Um, someone told us, I can't remember the name, I'm sorry. And we had these in a pot that we got in the trash and I just stuffed these in the ground. This one doesn't look great, but Brent's getting these um, bananas. These are just the original bananas that we had with the house um, because they get real tall and they grow real fast and they're easy to just kind of take out when we want. So we're going to use these as a taller hedge until these arecas kind of fill in. And here's, we had to take this fence apart to put these arecas back here. Um, but here you can see all the, all the plants. We kind of moved them around a little bit, but they're all looking a lot nicer. Here is some shampoo ginger, regular shampoo ginger um, that we purchased on a banana purchase. Here is a fuchsia um, plumeria. They're kind of losing their leaves around this time of year. Um, here's the variegated shampoo ginger. So we've got shampoo ginger. This is kind of where we shower off all the chlorinated water from the pool when we're done swimming. Uh, I cut this back, kind of trimmed it back because it was looking pretty terrible. I don't know if it's because the spot. The, yeah, the spot being close to the pool equipment or what it is, but um, this is uh, looking a lot nicer. This was a unique looking Hawaiian tea plant that we found. It even looks like it's shooting up another. Oh, great. Yeah, look at that. Excellent. And it's, here's another shampoo ginger. Oh, here is the um, dwarf Brazilian. It's got a big flower come out the top. It just, Whoa. we just got its flag leaf. So that'll be fun to see what those bananas look like. So we haven't gotten those. Here is our Fasang Raja banana. I bet so it's this about is, to get a flower. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if it's a dwarf or if it's gonna get bigger. This one went through some shock last year um, and it's kind of recuperating. I wonder how this got back here. I don't know. 
Here's our papaya. I think we planted that. It was half that size a week ago, or three weeks ago, two weeks ago. These things grow so fast. My favorite part of it is this little tiny, these little tiny leaves on top. It's like a little fairy house. Oh, yeah. um, this is the dwarf. Which one is this? No, this is the gold finger. Yeah. Gold. This is the gold finger. Um, this was a Mexican cream guava. We moved it from the backyard. It never really looked great back there. And we moved it, and I don't think this one's going to last, unfortunately. But, you know, that happens. And here's another free bromelia. These are the red kind. Um, which one is this? Do you remember? Um, it's a... Was it one of the ones we got with the gold finger? No, this was the dwarf red. This was one we pulled out from the pool, and it's rebounding nicely. Right. Here's some more um, black, African yeah, uh, African blue basil. Oh, oh, yucca. Yeah, we put this yucca in the ground here on the stump, and I think we want to bring this up to Blairsville, because I think this kind of yucca gr does grow up in the mountains, and we want to try. Here's a pineapple. Look, an awesome a aloe. kind of aloe that we collected on the curb. Another aloe that we collected on the curb. Look at that plumeria flower coming plumeria. out. Plumeria, yeah, I just lost a bunch of flowers yesterday because I picked some. Oh, here's a nice one. Pretty flowers. Here's one of our dracaenas. That's just exactly what it looked like from the trash and we put that in the ground long ago and it's doing good. We have some Hawaiian tea, Song of India, this, um, Ginger here, we're still excitedly waiting for little sprouts to come up. Here's some tricolored ginger that I recently just pulled a little part off of and put it in a pot um, to try to get it in some different places because this one's just so unique and pretty. Look at that leaf. Um, button. button ginger, yep. Cacao. Cacao. I love the button ginger sprouts. Yeah, Teddy. We all eat these little they get little. They get bigger. Yeah, these like, little sprouts they get about on them. Big. They taste like lemon. I really want to eat this one, but you keep saying to wait. Yeah, you gotta wait until they get big and juicy. All right, let's keep walking down here. Here's our big bananas. We got lots of them going here. This was our original stand that came with the house, and we've been moving these everywhere. It's a good banana. It's more of a cooking banana. We got some nice big bananas up there song of, india. song of india here's some more of this ginger this real tall stuff with the big leaves that we're hoping will sprout and all these arecas that brent planted they really yeah. changed the way the backyard looks it's amazing we have these three coconut palms back here they're probably going to be doing much better with the added sunlight from the lot being cleared next door. Here's our mulberry. Our mulberry's losing its leaves for the season. And we've been raking them and putting them back on the tree so that it can be fed. Um, all these little plants, we put some vincas down here. They're doing really good. Um, Hawaiian tea. Dracaena. Dracaena. Let's see, I wanted to show you guys the avocado. So the avocado tree is dropping all of its avocados. So we're thinking it's time um, to pick them because it's usually a sign. And um, it's also dropped so many of its leaves that I've been raking up on its base. I had this this vanilla growing behind it, but I think it's too shady and I moved it to the front of the tree and it's already kind of responded. And I had another little vanilla here that I I'm kind of just get in the ground, but it almost died. It may not make it. So I really hope I can get this vanilla going um, to grow up this tree. Cause I would love, I would love to have vanilla with the chocolate plant, right? Yeah. To make coconut ice cream. Yeah, coconut cacao vanilla ice cream. Yummy. That'd be good. Sea grapes. Bird of par paradise. Bird of paradise. This is actually three plants. Yeah, this is tons and tons of birds of paradise. But look at that flower. You can't beat these flowers. They're so pretty. What's this? Bring inside. I don't it's think cut this flowers. Is apple, 
This is the Lakatan right. banana. And then it's getting some puffs. This was the shell ginger we got from our neighbor. And here is, oops, this got covered up. Here's our little pineapple top experiment. It's going okay, it's definitely slow going, but we split a top in half to see if we could get two pineapples from one top. Um, and they've been in there for a while and they're not dead yet, so. Century plant. Century plant. Um, I don't know what Just this is. We, it might be a dragon tree from what I've, but people have been telling us and what I've looked up. Here's another Just little pineapple. Um, here's a much happier red penta. Teddy, don't do that to the leaf. Come on. Here's the pretty red penta. See, it's much happier with the shade of these blanket flowers that are kind of spreading all over the place. These, I don't know, we got this um, at Lowe's, this canna lily, and they looked so pretty, but I don't know. I think canna lilies do better in Georgia than here. Uh, let's see. There's some buttercups, banana. more vincas. Yep, oh. here's the sweetheart banana. Uh, crinum lilies. These were rather small last year when we planted them, um, probably two or three feet tall. And now look at them, they're not full grown yet. You can't these even get see pretty, me. yeah, these get pretty big. We planted another, um, we've got a couple more pineapples right what here. What is this? So we've got so this one, this pineapple, we started with one pineapple and then two shot out from it. I, I don't understand. It never had a pineapple or anything, but um, but we got three pineapples out of one top here oh. that just popped up. There's a big, thick black racer that just went in there. Oh, oh yeah? In the grass? Yeah. In the lemongrass? Yeah. Cool. Oh, look at this. There's a, yeah, but they, um, false agave. And I do not know what this, this is. This is, I think this is a night, uh, we don't want that. That's not a good plant. We have some more milkweed. Yep, this pink guava we're excited about. We just got that in the ground. This is the dragon fruit we got from Lowe's. That's pink with pink. And then we have golden growing everywhere else back here, golden dragon fruit. We're about, um, we're designing how we're gonna be doing our dragon fruit trellises. Uh, we're thinking of making a trellis from here and then all the way to the three board fence um, and make like four separate ones for all the different kinds of dragon fruit we've been collecting. So um, I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. And I'd like to get another trellis of the passion flower, um, the passion fruit going too, because it's just, it's very prolific, easy to grow, pretty flowers, attracts butterflies. It's got a lot of good things um, working for it. It grows, I mean, look, we just moved this to go on this and it's like growing up this tree it's just such a happy, easy to grow edible plant. Okay, so I think this is more dragon tree here. And look at all this new growth right at the bottom. So obviously these are real happy here. This might be the apple. That is the rhino horn. Oh, right, that's the apple. And this one wasn't looking great, but it seems to be turning around. Um, and it's got a little water sucker there. So that won't, that won't be a viable banana, but it's a good sign that we're at least getting little banana pups off of it. Here's one of our smaller bromeliads. Um, this is a different type of Hawaiian tea that has a smaller leaf and when we put these cuttings in the ground I don't think this one went through any shock at all. Lost even single leaf so that's a really cool one for getting sticks in the ground if you really don't want to have something looking shabby. Um, like the other Hawaiian teas when we plant them they, they do go through some shock but you can't kill them. See, look, this one, this one didn't look great. This is kind of like what was on the plant when we put it in the ground, but then it gets all this new growth down here um, from being in the ground. And then once we trim it all back and get all this new fresh growth showing only, um, you'll never even know that it was a rescue plant. Oh. What kind was this? Do you remember? Was that, was that the one we bought with the rhino horn? Yes. The apple. This is the namwa. namwa. This is dwarf namwa. That's the apple. This one's the apple in the middle, this oh, big look at one. This new growth on our green tea plant. Oh yeah, look at that. So this was a green tea plant. This was a prize that we got out of the trash. It was just a stick. And even a stick this big and thick 
propagated well for us. And look, look at the new growth. So it's obviously happy. Here's uh, just a bunch of different bromeliads we popped in and a, um, what's this? Oh, my shrimp plant's not doing great. It looks like it needs to be watered. It might not make it. Need to get some watering. We haven't had rain for a little bit. And, um, Candle lily looking good. Yeah, we put, we, and we were worried about our candle lily, so we popped off a little bit to, to plant over here, thinking maybe we could try it in a different spot. All right, let's see what's back here. There's a rack of bananas. Yeah. I'll get Here's the coconut palm. a hodgepodge of free plants we have. We got like a dragon tree and different plumerias that we're not, I think this is yellow. Yellow plumeria has a giant leaf on it, much bigger than the other colors. And so I think that this is, that's what this is. And then some, some Hawaiian tea plants that are getting accumul uh, acclimated. Um, the, um, uh, yeah, shampoo ginger, the Hawaiian variegated shampoo ginger. And here's our, um, this time of year, a lot of this, the deciduous flowering, fruiting type plants uh, lose their leaves. Um, and we just are trying to push it all back up on the plant to, uh, to add nutrition to the, to the roots. Here, we kind of just pop these in. Not much thought went into it. We think that this is our leaching field here. So we're trying not to plant anything here. But um, this was a real pretty, it's got, you can't really tell that it's pink, but it's got a pink edge with a yellow center. Plumeria. Look at its bud. That's how you can tell it's pink. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Here's our mandarin orange. It's doing really good. Um, we've been putting, um, we, we read a study where um, if you put um, live oak leaves around the base of um, orange trees, it keeps them from getting canker and greening. So we're hoping that that will help this guy out. Um, another thing that uh, Pete Canaris um, mentioned on some of his um, videos is that they, they do well in the shade also. So if you want to grow citrus and just have some oranges to grow um, like we did, uh, you know, having a slight shady spot, protected spot, you might have a little bit better luck and and um and these live oak leaves will keep them uh, keep disease from from finding this tree so that's what we're hoping here we have uh more bananas lots and lots of bananas got them everywhere here's our, our new pineapple that had a pineapple already that we got in the plant pirates so we're hoping that this one will shoot off little pups and then here, this stuff is doing really good. You'd never know these were just cuttings. This stuff is all doing, it's kind of bounced back. It's been here for a while. Stuff doesn't look great for a few weeks, these rescue plants. It takes, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to, to get them to bounce back. Here's our purple sugar cane with a bunch of other plants over there, but I'm gonna walk you through this way today. Brent's parents are staying here. So, what's this? Huh, I just noticed that. We got a penta here. Tea plant. Tea plant. Super thick. Some gingers, a snake plant, all kinds of little things. Tea plant. Here's a variegated tea plant. Just pop it all in everywhere. And if you don't like it, move it. Or it's all free plants, right? Yeah. Oh, let, let me show you what we got. Yeah. We've got some prizes that we've collected the past this is couple a weeks. Sugar apple or a sweet sop. Yeah, look at the fruit on this. And look at this tree, how happy it is. It's so big. I know. I splurged on this one because Teddy really wanted it. And I mean, I, I get excited when he's excited about plants, so. Let's see, we got this giant vermilion. We're giving this to Brent's mom though to take back with her yeah. to Georgia, along with all these other little air plants that we collect and find. 
Here's our Monstera. Delicioso. Yeah, we have the, the Zora plants here that we just got at Lowe's, but I just love those flowers. They're so pretty. And we got some Heliconia, some red and yellow Heliconia. Let's show them the proper uh, the line, what we planted over here. Yeah. So we're going to go over here first to kind of show you all the little, the little potting area. Ouch. Well, I just stepped on the dragon fruit. That kind of hurt. So this is the dragon fruit we still need to plant. This is another fun little thing we want to put on a hill. It kind of gets bushy and shrubby. And, um, I don't know. It's just a really pretty plant around here. Not sure what it's called. Here are all of our different kinds of dragon fruits. This is our jackfruit. Our neighbor got a jackfruit to eat and um, planted a seed for us and gave it to us. And it's not even that old. Look how fast it's growing. It's amazing. We have lots and lots. I think we have 10 different kinds of dragon fruit now. Our japatacabas aren't looking great. I think we may have up-potted them a little too early. So we might need to put these with these black Suriname cherries back in a smaller pot. I, I haven't decided. We're just going to keep an eye on them. Um, succulents. Oh, yeah. Brent's mom and I went to the nursery yesterday because she I collects tell, succulents. Can I tell you what they are? Yeah. So this is a string of dolphins. Yeah, look at this. This is a string of dolphins. And look, they're little dolphins. How cool. A string of hearts is right here. Is that string of hearts or string of turtles? String of hearts. What's string of turtles? There was another one, string of turtles. I don't know. Hold on. What's it say? String of hearts. See? Yeah. And let's see. Um, this one, I don't remember what the name of that one was. She got all these little fun plants though. Yeah. We got our butterfly pea and waiting for roots to come out. Here are some more of the cuttings that we did of our katuk. And these have just been sitting in the water for probably way too long, but they're still happy. And look at all the roots. These are just cuttings. I cut all the leaves back, stuck them in water. Just kind of forgot about it and they're doing great. Now let's show them all of them plants over by the Eureka. Yeah. That's our little potting area. Watch out for that yep. right, dragon fruit there. We never wear shoes, so the thorny plants I'm like sometimes a little iffy about, but they grow food, it's worth it. So Brent planted all these Eurekas and they go all the way down. So he did a great job putting all these in. We um I did a plant trade and got these beautiful bromeliads. Yeah. Look at this, the flower opened up. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this rank, raggedy little plant that we collected, but it's still got a flower. This we got a few weeks ago and it's still holding strong. I can't wait for this. This is like kind of a viney plant that grows in full shade. And this is that, I think the spiral, I don't know, we got it at Plant Pirates. It doesn't look great, but it's still green. So I'm gonna just keep babying it. I think this is a false agave. False agave. And we have, um, my neighbor gave me a bunch wedding more bouquet. of this wedding bouquet um, cutting. We have um, more of that dragon plant and Dracaena. This was a cool little like coffee plant that I got from um, a lady in a, in a trade. And it seems really happy and I'm excited about this one. I need to do a little bit more research on it figure out if I can, you know, actually make coffee with it, which would be cool. Oh, this looks like maybe dragon plant. Yeah, it does look like the dragon tree. Some more um, Hawaiian tea plants. Tea. This is a variegated Hawaiian tea plant. Here's a spiral ginger, we think. It looks pretty good that we collected. Vermilion. Lots yeah. of different vermilions, kind of tattered looking, but as you saw in the backyard, once we get the new ones off of it, you know, you can take away those kind of gnarly looking ones. Here's more of the dragon tree or cordyline. I'm not quite sure. Um, let's see. This is an avocado. This was a Florida Haas avocado that we planted about a year ago, and it's just not doing great. And I, I've got a couple replacement avocados I'm going to, I think, put in this area. Um, avocados like to have well-drained soil um, and they also like to have like 
um, their roots out of the water. So this is kind of like a mound, kind of like a dune. So I thought this would be a good spot to put them. Our avocado tree in the backyard is kind of on a mound as well. So um, seems to really kind of work out. Let's see, this area, it's kind of a work in process for kind of popping some stuff in here, but I think we're gonna kind of clear some of this out and add some more fruit trees in this whole front area and reduce our grass that we have. But, um, you know, we still, these sweet potatoes are still hanging on even though everything's eating them. But I guess, you know, that's okay. As long as they're not eating mangoes. And then we have the variegated shampoo ginger because we got so much of that and I was real excited about finding that one. And I've wanted shampoo ginger for a long time too. This is the spiral ginger and it's doing awesome. And this one has a really pretty flower. Chaya here and this is a good, a good edible. Um, you got to boil the leaves first to eat them but it's really good. Here's another big giant ginger that we're kind of waiting on. Um, Coraline, uh, tea oh, we shouldn't have picked that flower. She could have shown them. It's all right. We got this beautiful hibiscus. It's called the Fiesta hibiscus. And um, we planted it here and it just gets the most beautiful flowers. Maybe so. I could open up a bud. No, don't do that. Do you want to go grab it from Grandma and Grandpa so you can show? But just Stop. that color inside. Don't do that. You're going to ruin it. Just leave it. So we have a shell ginger, um, another those red vermilions, Hawaiian tea. We think this is a truly tiny banana that it was just maybe mislabeled when we and bought it. True dwarf. Yeah. Um, here, uh, Ren's been kind of babying this mango. It might be the seedling. It might not ever give us fruit, but we're still gonna we're still gonna pretend like it's gonna for us and, and keep babying it in hopes that we'll get fruit from it. We have um, some pagoda flower, Norfolk pine. Let's see, let's go over here and we can kind of wrap it all up. Black. Thai black banana, yep, that's a real unique one that we got this, from Jesse. This is a um, tall namwa. No, this no, is the this Saba. Is Shaba, yeah. Yeah. Like it's 30 feet. And so this one gets really big. And this one, this is the strawberry tree. And we're working hard. We are. Let's, yeah. let's stop by and admit. Here is um, strawberry tree. Strawberry tree. Wait, and where is that strawberry? I think? Is there one we can eat here? I've been looking at one. Here's that's... one. It's not ready yet, but it's close. It's getting there. And let's see, here's another hibiscus that gets yellow flowers. Um, crime lilies we got from a neighbor. They're growing pretty well. Dragon tree. Dragon tree. Here's a really awesome, this is our best monstera. Look at this big giant leaf. And Look, it compared to me. Whoa. That's so cool. I can't wait to get the fruit off of this. That's going to be a fun thing to eat. And then we have, let's see, we've got the cocoa plums over here. Those were okay. We weren't crazy about them. They just didn't have much flavor. They weren't bad or really good. Here's our sour sop, Rinsman baby in this guy. And it's really taken off since he mulched it and been tipping the branches. Let's see. Here's a mysore. We're kind of getting some more mysores over here growing. Um, here's the zigzag plant we just planted. More. We know that's devil's backbone. It's the same thing. It's okay. just another, yeah, devil's backbone is another name for it. Um, wedding bouquet, a red hibiscus. Oh. Another mysore. Nato plum, but. Nato plum. The spikes. Yeah, they get spikes, but they're really yummy fruits, so it's worth it. And I think that's. That kind of wraps up our our tour here for the for the month. But we had to do it before it became October because we've been we've been busy getting all these trees in and we haven't had a chance to, to do a garden tour. Yeah. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it and uh, we'll see.
See you next time.